You know, you're dealing with these funky guys with the crazy legs like Eddie, and, and, and it's tough, it's not easy. So as I'm leg dragging, I'm moving, we end up into the half guard, and so I'm trying to pummel, he's trying to pummel. He doesn't want me to get the underhook. I hit the back step, and we end up in this position. You see how my right arm is under his neck? If he comes up here, I can't do the switch. If he comes up here, I can't do it, okay? So if I'm here, I, I wanna use this underhook. See right here? Right. So if, if, if you try to bridge and roll from here, yeah, I, I want, go ahead. You see, like, I wanna get this underhook. Yeah. I wanna hip ice and get this leg back out. And you see, I wanna be here. So a lot of times in the back step, you'll start to sense that. If you go around my neck, if, 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 if uh, the proper way to do this for you mm -hmm. is actually to be more flat on your back, contrary to what half guard, um, what am I trying to say? Like, what most people say about half guard, people say be on your side. Mm -hmm. With reverse half guard, you don't wanna be on your side. You wanna be flat on your back. Because if you're, if you're on your side, your hook is lost. Like this hook, yeah. it goes away. See, like try to hold that hook. See how it like broke off? Yeah. Now scoot and scoot under me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because now, you see, like, I can't like take my leg off now. You see that? Mm -hmm. The more you're on your back. But remember guys, the more, the more he's on his back, if he's on his back, like I can come up and jam my hand inside, and now he's got to worry about, see how I got, I snatched the underhook. And then I can slide through. That's an awesome series right there. So there's, there's a lot going on. He pummels underhook, I back step. Maybe I go oh, back, oh, I just came right back. See that? And you come back to the underhook. I'm just showing that game right there. And then now once I'm here, if this arm comes here, boom, I put the switch in. See the arm here? I'm already waiting for him. If he tries to sweep me right here, I still got his arm. Yeah. And I put him in the switch. Remember, it's still very possible if you don't put proper pressure, he's a scooter on the back. That's really possible. Yeah. You get got it's Eddie's the guy that's gonna do it. He's gonna hit it on people. If you wanna beat Eddie, and guys like Eddie, it feels like this. Go. Yeah. Scoot around my back. Yeah. See that way to sweep your arm? Yeah. Now, in, out of this scramble, you guys you got to get the top position. So I've got the switch. His arm is here. Is it possible to try to submit him? Yes, it's possible, but not realistic. He's probably going to roll his arm when he feels uncomfortable, and you're going to come up to here. And again, right now I have a waist grip. I would love to go to a seat belt. If I go to the waist and I lock my hands, I like to lock with an S grip. If the guy twists or rolls to guard, I smash. So if you guys hear, I smash him. See how I don't let you? Yeah. And then now, as I break you down, I'm gonna work into side control so I can get a better position.